Welcome back aliens, I'm Navin Reddy from Tysco Learnings and last week we have talked about REST API which is also RESTful web services and it is booming everywhere. So what exactly we are going to start with, I mean what type of example we are going to start. Again we'll be going for a complex example once you go ahead but initially we'll be talking about aliens. So if you want to understand REST API to understand the overall picture, let's talk about REST API with an example which is one of, one of my favorite example called as aliens. I mean see we all are aliens right of course you can treat yourself as human in this case so when I say alien you can imagine yourself as human. So what is alien? Alien is someone who, who belongs to this software world or the virtual world what you say and everyone in this virtual world maybe they are very technical in one of the field maybe database field or programming field or maybe testing field or a hacking field. So all these are the aliens, right? And every field, so let's say if, I, if I'm a programmer, if I'm a Java programmer, so I'll be having some points in that. Example, when I start with Java as a fresher, I'll be having maybe two or three points. The moment I get experience, I get 10 points, 50 points. Maybe uh, as, as experience of six years now, I can say I'm, I'm 70, I got 60 points out of 100 in Java. Maybe you might be having more or less, doesn't matter. So we all are aliens, so we have a name, we have an ID and we have uh, points. So if you want to create a class of this, this is how your class will look like, right? You'll be having a class, a simple class called as alien in which you'll be having uh, three variables, uh, alien ID, then you have a name and a points, right? So if I create object of the first alien, let's say the first alien name is Naveen itself. I will say alien ID 101 or name Naveen and then the points would be let's say 60. So that's my value. Let's say if you have one more object, so now we have two or three objects, right? Now, if you want to send this data on the client side, you have to convert this data into XML or JSON. Again, how will you do that? That's a different thing. We'll be, we'll be saying the, in the practical session. But I want to send this data in XML format. Even before sending this data, we have to accept the request, right? And to accept the request, first you have to create the application. Now, question arises: how will you create an application for REST API? Again, to, the prerequisite for this would be you have to understand Maven because using Maven you will be building this project and luckily I have, a, I have a video on that as well on YouTube. So first you have to understand how Maven works. Uh, second, we have to create a Jersey project. Now why Jersey? It's because REST is just a concept, right? And to implement that we need some implementation. You can use Jersey or we can use Spring as we had discussed in the earlier video. So you can use one of this. Now, if you are using Jersey, of course, you have to use Jersey libraries. You have to create a project structure which will be working with Jersey. Now, you might be thinking, okay, we have to create that structure. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, we have a Maven video, right? And in the, in the Maven, what you can do is you can ask Maven, hey, Maven, can you just give me a Jersey project? Maven will say, okay, uh, you got your Jersey project there. So don't have to worry about the project creation. It will be taken care by Maven. Now, once you got your project, there will be some project structure, there will be some uh, dependencies which you have to add. No, you don't have to add any dependencies, right? Because Jersey will be given by Maven. And, but then we have to create some resources, right? As we have discussed, uh, in REST API, we have to create a resource. Alien is our resource, right? But then Alien is simply a Pojo class, right? I mean, what, what, what is Pojo? It's a plain old Java object. So this is a plain old Java object. What we want is when you send a request, there should be someone there who will respond, who will send you a response. Now, how will you do that? Uh, again, if you are thinking in servlet technology, in servlet we have to use, we have to get a class, uh, then we have to extend our class with the help of HTTP servlet. Do we have to do that here? Uh, not exactly. We don't have to do all those things here. In fact, I, w I believe that REST API is much simpler than learning server technology. And you might be knowing about server technology, even if you don't, that's okay. Uh, because anyway, learning REST is easier than learning servlet. So if you know the REST API thing there, so using REST API, we can send a request and you will get the response. So there should be someone who will request, who will accept your request and who will send your response. Okay, now how to do that? That we'll see in the uh, practical implementation. So I hope you are excited for this thing. Uh, so let me know by clicking on the like button and subscribing the channel.